Okay, so um, I've had I've had requests from students to uh, see my body rather than you know normally when the Chinese practice Tai Chi they have uh, the Chinese suit on so you can't see the body. So I thought now that I'm in Kenya and it's nice and warm, I thought uh, do that. Okay, so I'm doing the Huang style, which was derived from Chiang Mai Ching, famous uh, short form. Huang was an internal uh, disciple of uh, Chiang Mai Ching, and um, he, the difference is Chiang Mai Ching, uh, sorry, Huang has introduced the deeper aspects, and he's quite a very generous master of, uh, of releasing the, what we call the internal mechanics. The internal mechanics of Tai Chi is usually kept secret. It's only given to inter to uh, what they call indoor disciples. Huang, for whatever reason, was a very generous teacher. He uh, taught in Taiwan, and my master, uh, Wee Chi Jin, who lives from who lives in uh, New Zealand, learned from him. He was an indoor uh, disciple as well. So Jin often says, "I give everything, but most students won't practice." So, so there's a balancing act. I'm very grateful. And I can say this because I did uh, six years of training with Master Chu in London, who was a, who was a lineage master of the Yang family. And I can tell you for sure that he didn't show. But the form itself I loved. I mean, he kind of gave me the love for Tai Chi, but the internal mechanics was not shown. It improved balance, improved coordination, and all that that Tai Chi will always do. But the internal mechanics makes a big difference. As a practitioner of healing medicine for the last 33 years, I find that, that that internal aspect is really important because it improves the move of the flow of qi in the body. In the body, you can feel it in the in the hand, which in the normal form, if you're not given the internal mechanics, that that work. So, without further ado, let's start with this form. The, the ground is a bit uh, crinkly, so it's not as flowing as if I was going to choose on a, on a smooth flow, so take that into account. So first we are lining the spine and connecting the upper and lower parts of the body. Thank you. 
because of the crinkly grass, the floor wasn't as smooth as I'd like it, but um, take that into account. The internal movement of the chi, when you're moving down, when you're connecting, you're always connecting with the feet, and then you, uh, the, the chi is coming up, and then extending through the body, through the frame, uh, outwards. So, yeah. Um, those of you who are studying with me or have studied with other Wang style teachers, you'll understand what's going on with the contraction and the expansion of the chi. I hope this will benefit to you and uh, good luck with your practice. Just remember that repetition is the first law of learning and it just takes persistence. In this day and age, I, I, I often teach Qigong rather than Tai Chi. Tai Chi is my first love, but the reason I teach Qigong is that because we've come into the smartphone era, it's like in you know, all the blips and all the notifications, people's minds are really distracted. It's, it's difficult to have students these days. Now, 20 years ago, when I advertised for a class, I'd get 30, 40 people. These days, I advertise two people turn up. Because Tai Chi, people have realized it takes some investment of time and, and practice. But for me, I've been doing this for uh, 41 years now. 41 years, and I've been teaching for 33 years, I've seen how it can help with health and all, all that. And but the, the reason why I teach Qigong more is because it's simple, people want simple, quick, effective uh, exercise. Tai Chi is a more long-term investment, so if you want something that you can practice and continually, to, continually deep until you die, this is something you can do. I had a teacher, um, uh, he was 92 years old, he started when he was 90, when he was 9 years old. So all the years he'd been practicing and saying, I'm still learning. So he's thinking, what the hell is he learning? But what you're doing is you're going more and more deep into the moment. So while you're doing the form, the mind is more and more still. So it's a, it's a form of meditation, it's a form of focusing. So there's a continual learning for 50, 60, 70 years, 2 years, anything you put into this, it, it gives you back you know, a great amount. So Tai Chi is like a jealous lover. It warms attention. If you don't, if, if you don't give it, then it buggers off. So, blessings for your journey.